<laughs> where we at? Oh, you want to know where I'm at? <laughs> we outside! Those carjackings span from Jefferson Parish to the North Shore, but investigators say they're all linked to New Orleans. The New Orleans community was shocked at the horrific fatal carjacking of an elderly woman Monday. A frightening carjacking uptown has neighbors asking when it's going to stop. I had the opportunity to speak with Mayor Cantrell about the wave of carjackings that's plaguing our city. I'm here at a gas station in the night wall, and this is prime location for a car theft crime to happen. You go out to go get gas, you neglect to turn your car off, or you're sitting in the car with the car running. Assailants will hop in, force you out of the car, or if you're not in the car, take off with the car. And if you try to resist or fight back, guns will be drawn and you may lose your life. Harris is accused of carjacking, dragging, and running over realtor Kelly Rhine while she pumped gas at Costco last week. She has uh, a skull fracture and a brain bleed. She's got a, a fracture in her vertebra. She's got broken cheekbones on the right side. I have my own theory on what's the cause behind this spike in carjackings in New Orleans. And I was able to talk to the mayor about her opinion and what they've been doing to deter it. some disorganized crime and that they're using the young brothers or these young black people like toy soldiers and somebody's paying them. Jefferson Parish deputies and the NOPD investigate the shooting of a 16 year old carjacking suspect. As we mentioned, the New Orleans teenager jailed in last week's brutal Costco carjacking has now been charged with the murder of a 12 year old boy. The New Orleans community was shocked at the horrific fatal carjacking of an elderly woman Monday. We're learning the 17 year old male suspect has a lengthy rap sheet because people we're talking about, oh, they just stealing cars to commit crimes and commit murders. I really think it's like a New Jersey drive type of thing going on where there's somebody that's buying, that's giving them, hey, I got $500 or $1,000 for right. you. That, Cause it's too many random acts and they shipping the cars off to somebody. And, and I, I was gonna make a video on my Instagram to call out because New Orleans is so small, it's gonna be a point where one of these carjackers, one of these people are gonna carjack somebody that's related to one of the other carjackers or uh, related to one of the people that's uh that's 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 putting the money out wednesday afternoon around three in the afternoon a woman carjacked in the 3300 block of grand route st john then a few hours later police believe the same young gunman struck again carjacking a woman in the 1200 block of hagen avenue just three days ago when he went to pick up a trash bin things took a sudden turn for the worse. Then when I saw that they were right next to my car, uh, that's when I started having a little suspicion. When Hendrick stepped out his truck, a person driving this car pulled on the side of him, jumped in from the passenger side and took off. He says he held on to the truck because it was his livelihood. Right, so what, right, so what I will say is um, familiarize yourself with what the New Orleans Police Department has been releasing. Now it all started here in this parking lot in Terrytown. A woman was going to Vanessa's hair salon after she was carjacked by two kids with a gun. Now JPSO did find that car a couple hours later in Berman Park and they called NOPD to the scene. The suspects allegedly jumped out of their car and started shooting at officers. Uh, we're investigating an officer involved shooting that occurred in New Orleans tonight in Algiers, in Orleans Parish. In an attempt to take this vehicle down, two individuals that was occupying this vehicle saw the officers approaching, then fled from the vehicle, armed, both of which were armed, and fled in the direction of our Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office, at which time a gunfire exchange, resulting in a 16-year-old being shot in the leg. Even just last week, Thursday, the chief did um, his conference where he um, talked about several men being arrested, yeah. boys being arrested, but also the adult that was attached to it, oh. but now being... So things, we're making the arrest, yeah. and not only we see what you're saying, yeah. and there are adults involved. But do you think that too? That just kind of no, hit my head. But what I'm saying is not about thinking. Well, y'all know what it is. We know because okay. we're making the arrest, right. and even with Thursday saying... Right. Hey, this adult will be charged as because there are other. Um, so he wasn't at there when they were doing the car. Yeah, he was. Oh, okay. He was I a was, part of it. Okay. 
Meaning he was an ex yeah, he was a part of. Right, but I was just thinking like maybe like say this I'm a, a big dog and I got hey look, y'all bring me this cough crowd, I got a thousand dollars for you. But it's all the same. Right, yeah, I got you. I got what you said. Because either they they're riding around the car. What right. is that, Rob? Um, what charge is that? I know where the um conspiracy to commit No, it was well yeah, when an adult. Conspiracy to do Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, because you're uh, initiating and, and putting the, basically putting the battery in these kids. Exactly, so exactly. Yeah. And see where the adults would, they feel like, well, the juveniles, they'll get a lesser right. Right, offense right. because they're juveniles. Now, through NOPD carjacking data compiled through a public records request, we have a much clearer picture of who's stealing the cars and where. The statistics for 2021, a record for carjackings, show that juvenile suspects arrested outnumber adults by more than two to one. And so when we tap tap that adult and right. link them, then we can, can get, get a greater, exactly. But yeah, I was just, well, I wanted to speak of that, of that because what they're trying to do to tie in, to try to bring positivity into it, but we have to do something to equate to put money in and you're saying you know putting money in pockets and changing the mindsets but we're combating and fighting against a negative energy that's doing putting money in pockets and supporting the ideology yeah but no matter no it's true and et cetera, et cetera. but you got to change that that you're thinking and the behavior because right. you can put the money all day long exactly. and if they still think in the same way it's not going right. to change right sure right you well, know you, but i had that I, I just had that thought i just want to see if y'all Thinking the same way, but I, no, I, wasn't, I wasn't privy to the news conference, so I guess no. But I would say, but but all this is one is social media, you know, PD, all every you know, in terms of the, the information, yeah, yeah. But I would say, if you're planning to speak on it publicly, arm yourself with what the information, the information, and what's going on, right. so that you can also be that agent of change and right. supporting one the work that's happening, but. We got, look, this is, you're making poor decisions. Right. And these adults are part of it. Right. This video showing two women carjacked at gunpoint is making Uptown residents sick. It happened just before noon Saturday on 9th Street near Chapatula's. Security cameras captured the brazen crime, which took less than a minute to commit. The, the adults are, are a major yeah, part yeah, of yeah. it. And it just, it's crazy how it just hit New Orleans like that. Now, yeah, I know it's a, I think it's a financial thing. It's not. They're selling them cars, basically. Oh, it's it's of so course it's, it's finance, right. right? It's financial, just, finance, oh, drugs, it's a bunch of things. That. It's no, it's big, it, absolutely. Yeah, I think it's a conspiracy to sell stolen cars and fiat car parts and all that. And that's I think once they crack that, whoever when they find whoever's the the guy behind the hand, then things will. And then some down. of them feeling like empowered now, yeah. robbing and stealing and doing it in their own little. In case after case, we've seen how juveniles have been fueling the city's spike in carjackings. In our series, Wrong Turn, we even heard one juvenile offender explain how impulse and peer pressure are driving kids to participate. Now, you know, the rain slowed a lot of this down. It's been a blessing the rain for the seven days. Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that slowed a lot of down, that heavy rain. And that, that and I probably, that's, that actually started in the blessed month of Ramadan. Mm. Well, so I think, I think mm -hmm. that came together. It's a mercy from mm -hmm. God to, you know, for everybody to self-reflect when they saw that lightning. They was calling on God. Well, and that's and how we trained down. too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but thank you for your time, thank man. Thank you. God thank bless you for you. everything. You. Right. you too. You know, looking back at that interview I did with the mayor last year, I really realized I was incorrect. I don't, I don't think anymore that uh, it's an organized crime ring and, the, and that the young Libyans are selling the cars. But it just pained me so much to really think that this generation of criminal, this generation of black misguided male, the uneducated, miseducated Libyan, will put their lives on the line, catching armed robbery, murder, uh, uh, grand theft auto charges, putting their lives on the line to go to Angola, for no financial, uh, substantial financial gain. You know what I'm saying? For a joy ride, for something so meaningless. So I, I just never could understand that, but it seems that's the case. And as we know, New Orleans is the murder capital once again. And the generation that's concerned, the eighties babies, the nineties babies, we the ones that made it. We the ones that survived when the murder, when it was the murder capital in the nineties and it was wilding in the two thousands. So. It's not a new New Orleans. I understand the, the po politicians that'll be a blame and the police and all that, but 
what's going to be different from what happened when we was children? I think it's a spiritual devoid. I know it's a spiritual devoid. Yes, this is a different type of Libyan, this new generation criminal. Yes, they're devoid of any empathy and compassion. Here, kick an old lady down the stairs, run her over, do all that type of nonsense. So y'all better get you a Tesla where you can cut the car off from the phone. You know what I mean? Or shut it down or track it or whatever. You better invest in Tesla. The stock is going up. But what can we do? Because we are the generation that's seen it the same type of crime wave when we was there in the 90s and the 2000s, and now we're here, here now, older, wiser. Uh, uh, what is the what can rectify the situation? It'll be the same New Orleans that's been plaguing us our whole lives, and now we're making history again, all for the wrong reasons. Thank y'all. Stay blessed. If you want to be a part of the next We Outside episode, hit us on the Instagram right here. Come to a city near you, highlighting artists, athletes and the gifted, talented people of this great country.